Hey, it's J-Ro back at it once again in a hizzy to bring you a soup that is gonna be delicious and not fizzy, because that would be weird, a fizzy soup. Although it might be cool, but that soup is not what we're making today. Today, I'm gonna be doing one of my favorite ingredients that I don't actually use often enough. I'm gonna be doing a creamy fennel soup that's really easy, it's delicious, it's gluten-free, it's very simple with few ingredients, and it's gonna just be really hearty and delicious. So, let's start our creamy fennel soup by starting with the broth. You could certainly make your own vegetable stock, I encourage that. So I've got a 32 ounce container and we're gonna start our recipe by adding it to our stock pot and bringing it up to a hot temperature. Cover it and put it on medium heat. Now the reason we're doing that first is we want that at a nice hot temperature when we're going to add the rest of our ingredients, you dig? Now speaking of the rest of our ingredients, we have a few central pieces here that we're gonna start with. I have right here about a half of a large yellow onion, and then I've got five fennel bulbs that have been diced. But the first thing I want you to do is take a quarter cup of extra virgin coconut oil and add it to a large skillet, and bring that to a medium flame. Now what we wanna do is we wanna sweat the onions for about three to five minutes until they're nice and translucent. Then we're gonna add our fennel and saute everything for an additional 10 minutes. So we've got three to five minutes here. So now that our onions are looking good, we're gonna throw in our fennel. And as you can see, it's pretty fibrous. So we've gotta cook this down for about 10 minutes. I think three fennel bulbs is probably gonna do the trick. So give these guys 10 minutes on the skillet on medium heat, make sure they're a little bit golden brown. And then we're gonna add them to our veggie broth. Since the broth is so hot, it's gonna go right back up to a boil quickly, but not before we add some pretty awesome spices to the mix. Now, since this is a low sodium vegetable broth, it's my preference because I like to adjust the salt balance myself. I don't like the broth telling me what to do when it comes to salt, okay? So I'm gonna add a nice healthy pinch right in, a nice shake of ground black pepper, and here's where it gets a little fancier, but not too much. I like garlic granules because sometimes raw garlic can bother people's tummies. It's been bothering mine lately for some weird reason. So let's start with a half teaspoon of the mix. Then we're gonna move on to the uh, favorite herb of wrappers everywhere. This is terra era era eragon. They would add a full teaspoon to the mix as well. Now for a nice chicken soupy kind of flavor undertone, we're gonna be doing organic ground coriander seed, a quarter teaspoon. It's smelling good. And the thing with soup is if the aroma is satisfying, it's probably gonna taste pretty darn good. So let's let this simmer for 15 minutes on low to medium heat, and we're gonna give it a taste, and then we're gonna take it to the face. Mm, delicious. 15 minutes later, the kitchen is filled with delicious warm aromas. It's looking beautiful, the consistency looks amazing, and that smell! so good. So what I wanna do is I wanna take some of this creamy fennel soup, grab myself a big old soup ladle, pour it into a pretty bowl. So at this point, what I like to do is garnish this with other aspects of the fennel plant, including a little bit of organic fennel seed, which is awesome for digestion, often used in Indian recipes in Ayurveda, and then a few of the fresh fennel fronds. Say that for me now five times fast. Fresh fennel fronds, fresh fennel. I can't even make it past one and a half. And then of course, we have to take it to the face and give it a proper taste. So let's get a little bit of that action right there. Mmm, that's nice and mild. The fennel taste is definitely popping in there. It's almost got like that star anise licorice-y undertone to the flavor. Really delicious, super easy, you guys. If you're looking for a quick and hearty soup, check out this creamy fennel soup recipe. I hope you dug it. If you did, give me a thumbs up on this video and leave us a comment below. What's your favorite root vegetable soup? So guys, this is Jason Robel rocking out here with the Sun Warrior Tribe, bringing you delicious vegan recipes and vibrant living tips for your mouth and your hips. Oh, girl. So if you haven't done so already, you gotta subscribe here to Sun Warrior's channel for awesome plant-based recipes, daily workout tips, and healthy living lifestyle messages to make you so yummy and glowy and your hair shiny and picking up people on the street and doing your thing like a stallion or a unicorn, whatever. You know what I'm saying, feeling like a champion. And of course, subscribe to my channel, The J. Rowe Show. Yo, I'm out of here, I'm gonna enjoy this fennel soup. I'll catch you guys soon with another great recipe. Peaches. No, seriously, like, the smell of this is just like, it's effervescent, it's aromatic,
plasmatic. It's, it makes me a fanatic. It, it makes me want to be acrobatic. I can't think of anything more that rhymes with attic. So I'll see you. Bye.